Hey guys, Rick Hogg with Warhog Tactical, and I'm gonna to talk to you about shooting on the move, engaging targets laterally. So again, this is especially important for my military law enforcement, where potentially you could be coming into a room and the way that you're walking in, you may have to continue to move and engage targets. Again, for my civilians, it could be the same thing. Hey, I'm moving to a piece of cover, but I might have to engage that target as I go. The key thing to remember is you wanna walk just like you normally would, but the key to this whole drill or this activity is being able to turn at the waist. So if you think about it, if I'm just walking forward, I don't really have to have that good hip mobility. But now when I'm sitting there trying to engage a target that's off to either my left or off to my right, I've got to have this movement in my hip. And there's going to come a certain point when I'm moving that typically when you get to about that 90 degree mark that you're just not going to have any more twist in that upper torso. So it's important that we do this thing dry just to kind of work the mechanics out. I'll give you a quick demonstration. Our feet are gonna walk just like they normally would, but our waist is really where we're making this money. So let me go down here, I'll give you a quick demonstration, and then we'll get this thing going live fire. So again, I get down here, first thing I wanna do is make sure, yep, verified my firearm. It's uh, cleared and good to go. So when I'm here, I'm gonna walk like I normally would, but you notice I've already got this cant going to my hip so that now when I drive the pistol out and I'm just walking, I'm able to walk and still get that good turn going on there with the pistol. We'll do it in the reverse direction. And you'll notice for me, when I was making that turn, especially off to my right side where that pistol's in the right, it gets a little harder to really start working those angles. So again, this is where our dry fire training will come in. You can work all these things out prior to even getting out to the range because what you want is that smooth methodical movement because what I don't want is when I'm walking, that dot to be bouncing or those iron sights to be going up and down, then I'm not able to engage my target effectively. We're gonna load this thing up and we'll go through the Warhog administrative load and then we'll shoot this thing live. Make sure you got your eyes and ears. So again, I'm here, draw my pistol out. Again, gives me a chance to make sure my red dot's good, which it is. Lock my slide to the rear, secure my magazine, load it up, conduct my Warhog check. I'm loaded up, I'm good. And then I'm gonna take that magazine because I wanna load up my first magazine pouch and I'm good to go. So again, I'm here. I'm gonna start the drill out where I've already got the pistol out. I've already turned, I've already identified my threat target and then I'm just slowly gonna make my movement, being able to shoot while I'm moving, laterally engaging a target. So again, I'm here, drive it out. My first shot's gonna get me started. Once I'm there, once I'm there, I'm just gonna switch directions. We'll go back, because I wanna practice both ways, because I'm not always gonna be just shooting off that left. I've gotta practice also on that right-hand side. So again, I'm here. So what we wanna make sure guys is as we're sitting there doing this drill, you notice, hey, I ran out of rounds, that's fine, loaded the gun up, continue to stay in the fight. So practice this moving lateral, because again, whether I'm moving from cover, whether I'm a military law enforcement, having to clear a room. This could be a valuable skill that could save your life if you're in a self-defense situation.